Hi, welcome to 151 Garage. <laughs> I'm Sean, that's my abusive wife, Jill. And today we're gonna... Hi, welcome to 151 Garage. I'm Sean. I'm Jill. And today we're actually gonna do another Yakima accessory for uh, this Bronco Sport. Now, we did get this from the Ford dealership. It was, when we purchased it, it was on the uh, Bronco Accessories page. I have since not been able to find it again. I'll try to find it again. I'll go through it again and see if it's there. But you can order this through Ford uh, Parts Department for the accessories for Yakima. Now, what we bought is the Sup Dog. If you guys don't know what that is, that's the rack or the holder for the surfboard slash paddle stand up paddleboard uh, paddle boards. We have surfboards. We don't have a paddleboard yet. I'll mention something about that later on at the end of the video. But lately we've been using the Forerunner, just throwing it in the back of the Forerunner and go. The only bad thing with that is we can't go in a store or anything like that because it's not secured. We can't just leave it hanging out the back of the car. We don't have a rack for the uh, for that one. So we wanted to get something for this. That way we can secure it. The good thing about this one is the Sup Dog. It actually has a lockable feature where it locks the surfboard to the holder and it also locks the holder to the to the uh, crossbars. So it's a very good thing. Now, we're gonna do it the easy way, kinda. We're gonna put it on this side because obviously we have the awning on the other side. You can put this on either side. It doesn't matter, whichever benefits you. I've seen a lot of people with a surfboard rack on one side and a kayak rack on the other. It's probably what we'll end up doing when we get our kayak, whenever we get our kayak. But we're gonna do it without instructions. We'll just see just how easy it is to put this thing on. So let me show you a couple features. <clears throat> so it comes nicely packed, first of all. Now, this right here is basically all it is. As you can tell, it has the same thing as the other Yakima accessories, where they spin open, and you just keep going until it slides onto the bars. It also has a nylon strap that actually connects to basically a pulley system and a lockable feature right there. There is a wire cable right down the center of it. I don't know if you guys can see that. And these right here are used for the edges of the boards. We'll grab one of our boards and install it after we put this on just to show you guys exactly how it works and how easy it is. And uh, we'll go ahead and do that. We won't time lapse it. We'll just show you just how quick and easy it is to install these things. I'll play some good music or some horrible music, whichever I can find. Now you do want to install it with this towards the outside because this is actually the, the mechanism that you press in to actually release the bar or release the uh, cable.
that's all it took to get it uh, installed. I already have the straps loosened and the battery is about to run out. So we'll go ahead and change the battery and I'll grab the board and uh, we'll be right back. That's actually why I wasn't in the scene. I was looking for yeah. battery. So we'll be right back in a second. Okay, this is Jill's board. Uh, she has a couple of them. I have a couple and this is rated for two boards. I doubt we'll ever take three because we don't really need three. We'll take two boards. If we need more, we'll just get another one for the other side and we'll go from there. To install this, I'll go ahead and show you real quick on how to install it and actually what to do. I'll talk through some of the steps. But first, if you do have a heavier board, here, you wanna take this? If you do have a heavier board, there is rollers right here on the top. So if you have a heavier stand-up paddle board, there is rollers that'll guide you. I don't really need it on this one because, I mean, it's a light surfboard, so. Hmm? No, no, soon. Now, all it does right now, let me get it on this side. You can leave it, you can leave it. Put it up a little bit further. All it is right here is there's a hole right in front of this wheel and it just slides through, put it through the right way, making sure it's not twisted. And then you put it in there. Now you do have these little rubber tabs right here to basically hold the surfboard from getting uh, messed up. Pull it. And there you go. Huh? Oh. Yeah, there you go. So in with the excess, just tuck the excess in the bottom of it. There you go. Do the back side. Probably a little bit easier since I'm standing on top of this. Again, rubber pads on the side to prevent any damage to the that. Pull it tight and it locks itself in place until you push this, push this, unlocks. Pull it tight and tuck away the excess in the space provided below it. There you go. Unique feature with this, remember how I was able to push the lock in? When you turn this, lock it, you can't push the lock in, which means you can't steal the board or you can't take the board off of there. You can't release the strap, you can't pull the board off. You also have a lock right here, which prevents you from turning this any further. So, the crossbar is locked to your car. The uh, sup dog rack is locked to your crossbar and your surfboard is locked to your sup dog rack. It's nice, nice uh, security. Now, you know, putting two surfboards on here, obviously you wanna put the larger board on bottom and you wanna put something in between, rather a towel or the oh, little like pool noodles, noodles or whatever. Yeah. You, you do want to put that in there. That way you don't have the board rubbing against another board. Another thing is, while this works on all the Yakima racks, it does give you different uh, fixtures or adapters for other racks as well. So it's not just the Yakima rack. It does come with other, uh, basically, Add adapters. As well as, as you can tell, we took the leash off and it leaves this right here. 
What this is for is for larger boards, obviously not this one because it doesn't need it. If you have like a stand up paddle board or a long board, which we plan on getting both of them, you can use this with this right here and actually tie it to the front of your car to actually stabilize the front while you're driving. That way it doesn't lift up. It keeps it, yeah, it won't flip up. Board, yeah. yeah, so it keeps it stabilized. We're probably not gonna use it because we don't have far to drive. We don't go above 40 miles an hour before we get to the beach. Uh, if I had to drive on one of the interstates, I would use this. It does come in the package, it's not extra. And it also does have a protective sheet or a protective cover that you put against the painted surface. That way it doesn't mar up the painted surface. So that's a nice added bonus for that, for those who need a, the extra stability if they're going high speed. As but we'll high keep speed that in as the this. car anyway. Yeah, we'll keep it in the car when we do anything. All the added things like this, we always keep in the car. They're always in the back, just in case we ever need it. We don't have to worry about it, it's always there. Now, it does go through this right here. That's why I left it on there to show you guys. Uh, but other than that, that's it. I do have one thing to say. We are close to 500 subscribers. We're at 494. And... Jill has been wanting to try stand-up paddle boarding for quite some time. Before she I was actually struck with cancer and during that whole process we we're talking about some of the things we wanted to do since we've been out of really going out and enjoying ourselves for, for years. three years. Two years. Three years. Three. Uh, three years. Remember COVID too? This will be the first time in three, almost three years that we've actually been to the beach in the water. So we are going to go next weekend. Here's the thing. If we hit 500 subscribers before the end of this week, which shouldn't be hard, there's only six, uh, <laughs> six that's needed. If we hit 500 before the end of this week, I will buy a stand-up paddle board and we'll try to do stand-up paddle boarding. Now, neither one of us have ever done it, but I figured... Every, like everything else, how hard can it be? I will film it. I will put all the clips of us falling off the paddleboard and nearly drowning. And uh, it'll be something to laugh at and have fun with. And hopefully uh, nobody has to go to the hospital. Then it's just fun for everybody else but us. So 500 subscribers, I'll buy a stand-up paddleboard and we'll go uh, try not to injure ourselves this weekend. Okay. Okay, thanks for joining. Uh, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and uh, hope to see you next video. Bye. Bye. 500 subscribers, that's it. All we need is six. And no, you can't make up six <laughs> emails of subscribe, okay? That's not fair. If I find out you did that, you're in trouble, okay? All right. There you go.